What is up guys? Matt from Our Process here. And um, guys, today I want to talk about persistence, okay? And I also want to tell you guys a little story about how um, I actually got my first job. Um, so I'm just going to get right into it. So I applied to um, work at Publix. I think it was probably a month ago, honestly. And um, it was a really, really great experience. I went, uh, like they have this little application thing that you have to fill out at the... Um, at Publix, I fill it out and I um and then I you know I go I go back to my car um and my dad was sitting in there because I'm still 15, and um and my dad was like why don't you go and talk to the manager and I was like at first I was like wait why would I want to do that and stuff he was like just trust me, um and I was like okay why not so I go and I talk to the manager and like she was so it was apparently the assistant manager so I go and like she was so so nice like we talk I started asking her questions and like. You know, I was like, you know, what type of what type of people do you look for in the applications, and like, you know, um, just thank you so much for the opportunity to be able to work there and stuff like that. And she ended up saying that she, they weren't hiring there, so I was, you know, I was, yeah, obviously I was a little bit disappointed when I asked her like what kind of things they look for and whatnot. Uh, she was like, you know, exactly what you're doing right now, like coming up and talking to the manager. So I was like, okay, so month like for about a month straight, like every single time my parents, my brother, my sister would go to. Uh, would go to Publix, I would come with them so I can have a chance to talk to the manager. Every single time, every single time I was in Publix, I talked to the manager and, and see if they maybe had a job. Um, so every single time I, I, I was like, hey, how are you doing? And just checking in and like, how are you doing? And stuff like that. And in that process, I met other employees. I, I started talking to them and stuff like that. And man, I, I just talked to, try talking to as many people as possible to help them get on my side. Um, so hopefully maybe one day if they open up a, a, a hiring then maybe they'll choose me um, so you know I, I do this probably three four maybe five times I, so a couple of days ago I get a call from the manager who I had met with like three or four times um, I got a call from him and he was like hey Matt um, just want to let you know we're hiring again and I'd love to interview you and see if you uh, be good for a job man I was so I, I just couldn't stop smiling. I, like at the time, like I I wish I was recording it, guys. I could not stop because I was just so happy. Uh, we ended up meeting a couple hours ago, so I just got back from my interview and I got the job. <laughs> guys, I'm so happy right now. And this is what and and this is what they told me. They were like, honestly, we we knew that we were gonna give you the job before we we before we even gave you the interview. I was like, wait, what? And then they're like, because we saw that you were so persistent and that you cared so much that you wanted to work here, that we saw that, we saw your passion to want to work here and we just decided to hire you. And I was like, that is, so, oh my, that just goes to show guys, this is, this is why I wanted to share this with you guys, so that I want to add value to you guys. Persistence is key. I'm telling you, if you have a dream, if you have a business, if you have a job that you want, Persistence shows and it's visible, guys. Persistence and passion are the two biggest things that I can teach you right now in your life. Persistence is, you know, going above and beyond the expectations and doing it repeatedly and repeatedly even if you don't want to, okay? That means hustling every single day. That's that's just basic. Hustling every single day, loving what you're doing, you know, even when you don't want to hustle every day, you're just going to have to push yourself and be persistent. So, you know, in anything that you guys are doing, for example, with my, with my situation for applying for the job, you know, um, I got my job because I didn't just fill out the, I didn't just fill out the application home for the best, okay? I actually filled out the application, went to the manager, you know, got declined, basically, and then came back, got declined again, came back, got declined again, came back, got declined again, and then, you know, after three or four or five weeks, I then get a call that says, hey Matt, love to give you an interview, and you know, I end up getting the job. Persistence is so visible in anything that you guys are doing, okay? People see persistence as wanting it so bad that you, that you care so much about that one business, or you care so much about that one job, that you'll be willing to go through the failures. You'll be willing to get declined, because you love it so much that you're able to get declined and still want that job right it doesn't put you down and sad it makes you motivated to want to keep going and keep moving forward even though you get declined it, it just 
it's so e it's so easy to tell when someone is persistent and someone is passionate. Whether you guys are in sales, even in our sales thing, like it's uh, sales is all a numbers game. In any field that you're in, you have to have tough skin. Okay, guys, it's so important that even if someone punches you in the face, you're able to just sit there and keep moving forward. Okay, you can't be like pouty and you know you can't like oh my god he punched me in the face. In this life, guys, in this era, you have to be able to keep moving forward because everyone's going to be wanting to throw punches at you and you just can't let it get to you, okay? So in anything that you guys are going through, anything that you guys are, you know, have a dream or anything, please, guys, please be persistent and be passionate about what you're doing because I'm telling you, if you guys hustle every single day and you stay patient in the long run, everything, and I mean everything, will work out for you in your life. I really hope this helped you guys. Um, thank you so much for always being there for me, um, especially through my journey. I'm, I'm so excited to be able to work at Publix. Amazing community and stuff. Um, just can't wait to learn and stuff. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much. Love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.